your website visitors are not hits, they're not traffic, and they're certainly not a group of numbers. They are individual people. So today we're going to talk about how do you design a website for maybe multiple audiences that are going to come and check out your work. The more you can speak directly to them, the better your website's going to convert. So you may have heard the concept of hits, traffic, visitors to your site. You go and look at your data for your website, you can see where they're coming from, what they're doing. But the one thing we don't know is who they are. Unless we really take a step back and we think about who are the people that are really visiting my website? Am I talking to them like a big generic pool and everyone's the same exact person? Or am I really thinking about what are the specific kinds of people that are visiting my site? These are called personality indicators. So when I come to your website, I can easily say, oh, you get me, you know me, I'm in. So it's not just about this generic third person conversation, it's about you understanding your market so well. So my market is entrepreneurs, small businesses, and marketing teams. Those are my three personas. And how I talk to each one of those is gonna be very different. So I've got three personality indicators. So the first one is going to be, um, and I call them thought leaders. Usually they're speakers or they are um, experts in their own field. Okay, so that's my first audience. My second audience is marketing teams. Okay, there's my second audience. My third, actually I've got four. My third audience is going to be, um, going to be CEOs because I do a lot of work with an organization called Vistage International. So I speak a lot to just CEOs. And of course, the third part, which I have, is speaker bureaus or event planners. Now, if I talk this generic language to all four of these personalities, it's going to fall on deaf ears, okay? They're going to be like, well, 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 who are you talking to and where should I go? So right on the home page, I want you to think about having four circles or three circles. We're going to call these personality indicators. I like to call it, who are you? Who are you? Are you a, a thought leader or speaker? Are you, would you manage a marketing team? Are you a CEO? Or are you an event planner? So when I come in here, I can immediately self-identify, oh, that's me, oh, that's me, oh, that's me. And it feels more specific. So when I click on thought leaders, I speak specifically to how speakers, experts, authors can use findability to their advantage, how they can do it themselves. And then the marketing team conversation is going to be, let's get everyone in a room. Let's pop up our laptops. Let's have everyone working together toward the outcomes of the business. I'm not there to be the sage from the stage. I'm going in there to help facilitate their learning. That's a very different conversation than what I would say to a thought leader. Then we come down here to CEOs. We call it executive-led findability. Without the support of the CEO, the marketing team is not going to be able to execute and if they have any individuals in that, they're not going to be able to actually convey what it is that the CEO wants. So the CEO has to be involved, as does the marketing team, as does the individual worker bees who are actually doing the day-to-day -day work. Then the final personality indicator is event planners. This is a whole nother world. Um, I, do, I do a lot of professional speaking. These, this page is specifically optimized for what they need. It has all of my headshots, my bios, my demo videos. So when I, when I come to the website, you're going to see there are, three, there are three of these plus an event planner page. So when they come here, I can say, oh, I'm so glad you're here. I, I know who you are. Here's, here's your best place to start. This will significantly increase conversion rate on your website when you stop talking about the generic and start talking about the human who's visiting your site. Now remember, this might be, I might have a picture of a thought leader, a speaker, I might have a picture of a team that I've already trained with. Here I might have a, um, a photo of me speaking to an executive team. And then of course I'm gonna have a photo that's going to be me on stage. Now I absolutely hate clip art or stock photography. Be really careful, even if it's a, even if it's a crappy iPhone, I don't care. An iPhone shot has a lot more authenticity than something that's a generic pulled off like Shutterstock or iStock photography. So think about having your own pictures as backgrounds to these. So these would all be somewhere on the homepage, maybe about halfway down. And then you say, 
who are you or how can we help? What are you looking for? And they will self-select which one is most congruent to them. Another thing is when you click on here, now you can have a whole page that speaks exactly to thought leaders, authors, and coaches, exactly to the marketing teams and what the outcomes are for that team, as well as how is the CEO going to measure ROI from this investment. So very important that you're not just Welcome to FindAbility University. We have 26 years of experience. We have the best team and the fastest customer support. That's all about you. We call that the Wee Wee Show, right? We do this and we do that and we do this and we do that. That's a Wee Wee Show. No one cares about the Wee Wee Show, not yet. You have to wine and dine me a little bit. You gotta buy me a drink, take me to a movie. Like you gotta woo me a little bit. And I gotta, you have to talk to them like you know them. So it's not about the wee wee. It is about the, I get you, I know you, here's what you need from me, I get it, I'm here, I'm in. Then you can start talking about the wee wee show. Here's how we work, here's what we do, here's how much we cost, here's your next step. Now, one final thing to think about when you're looking at personality indicators is when I talk to thought leaders, it is gonna be a very different conversation than when I talk to marketing teams. So when I click on this, I'm going to hyper customize this. I might have a video there that says, man, are you a speaker, coach, and consultant? You're frustrated you're not getting the results from your website that you deserve? You need to join our, you need to attend one of our retreats. And then when they click on the marketing teams, boy, you have a marketing team that is crack. They know exactly what's going on, but they lack cohesion and focus around findability. You're in the right place. Let us come in and we will train that team. Then, of course, if a CEO comes there and say, boy, as an executive, you have a lot of things going on on your plate. How about we take that off, we hear what you want to achieve from a business standpoint, and I will work with the marketing team to make sure you get those results. Man, this is so powerful. If you could just stop for a second about talking about yourself, take a minute, right on the homepage, figure out who are the people that are visiting, segment them out, and speak to them like you know them. Give them a snack, a goodie, a download, a video that is custom for each one of these personalities and your conversion rates are going to go through the roof because you took the time to ask, who are you and why do you care and how can I help? This is a really important distinction between a sales brochure website and a thought leadership website, one that serves fully the people who are visiting it. It's not just about you. Hey, if you like the content you saw in this video, you need to check out Findability Accelerate Retreats. We fly into amazing places, we bring our laptops, we roll up our sleeves, and we get busy. We like to call them workcations. Check out findability.com slash retreats for our next workcation and why you should be there for a hands-on learning experience unlike any SEO training you'll ever take.